Many of us think of the moon as a familiar fixture in our night sky, a natural satellite that has been Earth's companion for as long as we can remember. But what if there's more to the moon than meets the eye? In this video, we're going to explore the possibility that the moon isn't just a celestial body, but an artificial megastructure orbiting our home. We'll go into the fascinating anomalies and peculiarities that make this theory not only a science fiction fantasy, but a topic worthy of serious consideration. Whether you're joining us for the first time or you're a regular viewer, prepare to have your perspective on our lunar neighbor completely transformed. But first, let's take a look at some moon oddities. The moon might just be the most mysterious neighbor Earth has. It's a celestial body, and some argue it could be an artificial megastructure, a cosmic enigma orbiting our planet. Now, why would they think that? First off, the moon's distance and size are curiously perfect for creating those breathtaking eclipses we occasionally witness. It's as if it's been precisely placed to perform this celestial duty with the sun and Earth. The moon is unusually large for being Earth's satellite. It's so big that it's closer in size to a planet, dwarfing even Pluto in comparison. Then there's its orbit, a nearly perfect circle which is quite the cosmic rarity. This peculiar path it takes around Earth is just one of the many oddities that make the Moon a cosmic puzzle. And have you ever wondered about the Moon's craters? Despite their varying diameters, they share a surprisingly uniform depth, almost as if they were designed to be shallow. Another curious fact is that the Moon is tidal locked with Earth. This means we only ever see one side of it, as it takes the same amount of time to rotate on its axis as it does to orbit our planet. This synchronization is yet another piece in the puzzle which is the Moon's mysterious nature. Perhaps one of the most intriguing discoveries came after the Apollo mission when scientists deliberately crashed part of a lunar lander into the Moon's surface. The resulting seismic vibrations suggested that the Moon could ring like a bell, hinting at an unusual internal structure. The Moon's precise position and size also play a crucial role in stabilizing Earth's climate. It counteracts our planet's slight axial wobble, enabling the stable climates and seasons we experience. Furthermore, the surface material of the Moon appears to be older than the layers beneath, defying the expected geological order. Adding to the Moon's mystique are the numerous ancient legends and myths from cultures around the world. Stories from indigenous tribes in North America and Africa, as well as ancient Roman and Greek myths, speak of a time before the moon. The Moon's Creation The story of the moon's creation has fascinated humans for centuries, leading to numerous theories and debates among scientists. Before astronauts set foot on the moon, there were mainly three ideas about its origins. One theory, known as the capture theory, painted a picture of the moon as a cosmic wanderer. It suggested that the moon was once a free-floating body in space that got caught by Earth's gravitational pull and became our constant companion in the sky. Then there was the accretion theory, which proposed that the moon and Earth were born together, like cosmic siblings. According to this idea, the moon formed right beside Earth from the same cloud of gas and dust that swirled around the young sun, gradually coming together to form the celestial bodies we know today. A third intriguing idea came from George Darwin, the son of the famous Charles Darwin. He speculated that the Earth once spun so rapidly on its axis that a chunk of it flew off into space. This chunk, he believed, eventually settled into orbit around Earth, becoming the Moon. It's a dramatic image, our planet spinning so wildly that it throws part of itself out into space. However, the Apollo missions of the 1960s and 70s brought back moon rocks that told a new story, leading to what is now the widely accepted theory of the moon's formation. This theory suggests a colossal collision between Earth and a Mars-sized planet billions of years ago. The impact was so immense that it sent a cloud of debris into orbit around Earth. Over time, this debris coalesced under its gravity to form the moon. What is the moonfall? all about. The movie Moonfall began in 2011, with astronauts Brian Harper and Jocinda Fowler floating in the vastness of space, their banter cut short by an inexplicable and deadly encounter with a dark, swarming mass. 
This ominous force claims the life of their colleague, Marcus, leaving a shadow of mystery and disbelief back on Earth. Despite Brian's attempts to shed light on the truth, his words fall on deaf ears, costing him his career. Fast forward a decade later, the moon, long thought to be a benign companion to Earth, is now on a collision course with our planet, courtesy of theories popularized by K.C. Hausman, a podcasting conspiracy theorist who believes the moon to be an artificial construct. His outlandish claims, initially dismissed, gained credence as the world witnessed unprecedented tidal destruction. Amidst this chaos, Jacinda, now at the helm of NASA, uncovers evidence that lends weight to Brian's decade-old encounter. The plot thickens with the revelation of a long-concealed lunar secret, tracing back to the Apollo missions, suggesting that the moon harbors more than just dust and craters. As the narrative unfolds, a daring plan is put in place to confront the moon's mysteries head-on. Jocinda, Brian, and the unlikely hero KC find themselves aboard a spacecraft aimed at the heart of the lunar menace. Their mission is to deploy an EMP device intended to neutralize the nanobotic threat lurking within the moon's hollow core. Back on Earth, the drama intensifies with a military gambit to obliterate the moon, overseen by Joe's estranged ex-husband. In a moment of personal sacrifice, he opts against the lunar destruction, choosing instead to preserve the lives of those on the space mission, including his former partner. Amidst everything, the earthly plight of our characters' families unfolds, with Joe's son and Brian's son navigating a perilous escape to safety, their path strewn with lunar debris and fraught with danger. Eventually, Brian's ex-wife's new husband makes the ultimate sacrifice, ensuring the safety of his stepdaughter in an emotional moment of heroism. Soul-Eating Aliens on Moon the mysterious far side of the moon has always sparked the imagination of storytellers and filmmakers alike, drawing them into a realm where the unknown and the fantastical merge. Among these creative ventures is the 1990 horror flick, The Dark Side of the Moon. This film spins a narrative of astronauts stumbling upon a deserted shuttle in the moon's most secluded region. But their discovery takes a dark turn when they unravel the shuttle's past linked to the infamous Bermuda Triangle, and encounter an alien with a sinister appetite for human souls. Despite the intriguing premise, the movie didn't quite hit the mark with audiences and critics, landing a low score. It seems the execution may not have lived up to the captivating potential of its storyline. The fascination with the moon's hidden face doesn't stop at movies. The literary world, too, has explored this theme in numerous books, with over 200 titles bearing Dark Side of the Moon, found on Goodreads. Among these is a notable 1976 children's book by William Corlett, which narrates the heartrending voyage of a solitary troubled astronaut. Through this story and others like it, the far side of the moon serves as a backdrop for tales of adventure and mystery. The Gruithuizen Mystery Domes The Gruithuizen domes on the moon are like nature's own riddles, crafted not from words but from rock. These domes are vast and flat basaltic plains. They are bumps of something quite unusual, almost like the moon's version of a mountain range. What makes them stand out is their makeup, believed to be rich in silica, much like granite here on Earth. Lava on the moon usually moves smoothly, covering vast areas with basaltic layers. However, the lava responsible for the Gruithuizen domes tells a different story. The big question is how these domes came to be. Earth's silicic volcanoes have a recipe that includes water and the movement of tectonic plates, ingredients that the moon's kitchen lacks. So how did the moon cook up these domes? Theories abound, but the true understanding still eludes us, making these domes a celestial mystery waiting to be solved. The good news is that we're not just sitting back and wondering. NASA has big plans to get up close and personal with these domes, in a few years, a mission will send scientific instruments to the moon on a lander and rover to study the domes right where they stand. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter's sharp eyes have already been scoping out the scene, helping scientists pick the perfect spot to land and start unraveling the secrets of the Grootwissen domes. The truth of the moon is still something of a mystery to most scientists and admirers all over the world. What do you think it could be? If you enjoyed this voyage through the depths of possibility, 
Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.